Good morning. Breakfast tour of downtown Stewart and weight loss related chat <laughs> for the week. I don't do these every week, but we try to come on Friday mornings for breakfast. And if we're here, it's a good opportunity to do it. And today I'm going to take you to the Owl House. This is right near the little water view that I took you to last time, so we'll see that as well. And I'm going to talk about subconscious blocks to weight loss. Um, this is a big theme in my work lately. I'm really seeing it with clients, right? Because what does society tell us? All the magazines, the diet industry. The reason you're overweight is because you're not following a meal plan and an exercise plan. So buy this book, sign up for this, you know, program, and we'll give you a diet plan and an exercise plan and you will lose weight. And that does work for some people because some people have no resistance to following a diet and exercise plan. Most of you, this is your husband, right? <laughs> like, oh, I just decided to do keto and now I eat steak every day and I lose weight. We hate these people. <laughs> but for those of us who are mere mortals, just having a book with like recipes and a meal plan in it, it's not enough to cause us to lose weight. So why is that? I will tell you after we look at the cute house. All right, so this is the owl house named thusly because it kind of looks like an owl you see kind of like the little eyebrows there let you get a good look at it and it is right on the water here in downtown stewart i know i should have worn my stewart hat instead of my georgia hat because this is definitely a stewart themed show instead of a georgia themed show but this one went with my shorts so it's okay so subconscious blocks to weight loss right again <clears throat> if you have no resistance to following a diet and exercise plan you get the diet and exercise plan you follow it you lose weight now you have the problem of this diet mentality where you're on the diet off the diet so when you're on your diet you lose weight when you're off your diet you gain weight you're all confused about what happened that's just how that works so what you need to do is make small tweaks that you can sustain for life. Implement it slowly over time, right? This is kind of like the, not that I'm an expert on this, but the J Japanese manufacturing concept of Kaizen, continuous improvement. If we get 1% improvement, we lock that in, we make that our new normal, we make that our baseline, then it takes zero effort to maintain it. It's exactly what we're doing right now actually with our walks, the Friday morning breakfast thing we've been doing most Fridays for a while, but now we're adding in a walk beforehand. It takes some effort to get up a little earlier to do that, but then it becomes a new normal. So there's a lot of changes like that that you can make no problem because you have no resistance to them. But if you've got subconscious blocks, these are things you don't even know are in your brain that will stop you from being able to implement those kind of changes, right? So it might be a self-identity thing, right? Like I've just always been fat. I'm always gonna be fat. Might as well eat the cookie, because it's not gonna matter, because I'm always gonna be fat, because that's just who I am. It might be a family identity thing, right? Like my whole family's big. It's something we can't control. I think genetic determinism is kind of the new version of this, right? I can't help it, it's my genes. Right, well genes load the gun, but lifestyle, including diet, pulls the trigger. So figuring out what those subconscious blocks are and clearing them is so, so important because once you clear the block, it's easy to make the change. But as long as you have that subconscious block, you're not gonna be able to get yourself to do what you wanna do. And the worst part is you're gonna to start to beat yourself up because you're gonna think there's something wrong with you. I'm weak, I don't have any willpower, I just can't do it, I suck. And that's way more damaging, honestly, probably even than the weight. So, all right, I'm gonna be talking more on this over the next couple weeks. But right now, it's breakfast, bye.